This is Josh Rodericks, and you're watching Tomahawk Talk. Welcome into episode 38 of Tomahawk Talk. Michael Stern here with Troy Lynch on my left, Kyle Kirchival on my far right, and a familiar face to Braves fans everywhere, Chris Jones right next to me, one of the broadcasters from last year. Chris, what was it like for you to be back tonight, and what were your impressions of a quick game tonight and not the best one for the Braves? Uh, it was fantastic to come back. Uh, one of the few off days I have this summer uh, with the New York Penn League and just be able to see all you guys. I feel like I know you uh, watching Tomahawk <laughs> Talk and uh, following the uh, the interviews prior to games with Kyle so it was great um, happy to be able to jump on the broadcast and just be able to come out to Doran Park it's just you know we joke about it sometimes of of Spillane being the the gem of the Cape but to spend to spend a summer here at Doran Park was fabulous last year and to come back out uh, was just a fantastic experience and see Darren and Nicole and Jenna Beth uh, it was it was awesome it was awesome to see you as well, Chris, but it wasn't awesome for the Braves offense to see Hunter Martin, Kyle. They really struggled against this guy from Tennessee who blanked him for eight. Yeah, not a lot of strikeouts for Martin tonight. However, he was getting the Braves to do exactly what he wanted them to do. He was getting them, getting them to drive it into the ground, inducing pop flies. Anything he needed to do, he was really just making quick work of the Braves tonight. And that's not to say Bourne didn't help him out too much. I wasn't too impressed with the at-bats tonight. We kind of flash back to that middle of June type of Braves where we're getting those one, two, you know, at most counts. You're getting three pitches, four pitches, and you're just swinging at stuff. So it's not exactly what we like to see from the Braves. However, uh, we do need to bring, there are a couple guys that got a couple hits that we saw Evan Mendoza tonight come through with a hit. We saw just one thing also I need to bring up. This is totally random and this is all over the place, but I do need to say not a single bunt tonight for the Braves. And I know I'm always the guy talking about the small ball. We didn't see any of that tonight. I think when you have three hits in the eighth inning, maybe you should try to lay one down. So not quite sure why we didn't see that tonight, but just not a great offensive attack. But that's not to say that it wasn't a great pitching performance uh, by Martin tonight. Four hits for the Braves, two of them left the infield, that ninth inning single by Connor Wong and the big double by Danny Reyes. Pitching was good for the Braves for the most part, a hiccup in the sixth inning, but Bourne was in it from start to finish, thanks in mo most part to their pitching, starting with Doug Norman. Yeah, Doug Norman, he was pretty good tonight. He only gave up one run and he worked into the sixth inning, and then he had that hit by pitch against one of his LSU teammates back at college, and boy, did that come back and haunt him and then Gehagen was able to get an RBI single. Lindsman comes in, he gives up that RBI single on the first pitch and then next batter Brent Rooker sends a two run home run over the center field fence which is something that we don't normally see but then Sean Leland, he closes the door not necessarily for the Braves but he just finishes the game for the Braves and he throws two innings and he's able to strike out three. He was the best part for the pitching for the Braves tonight and I really liked what I saw from him in two innings and of solid work. Leland finished it off well, and Doug Norman, of course, started it off well. It was season long in innings, but the offense didn't come through tonight. It was a 3-0 loss for the Braves against the Brewster Whitecaps, something we usually do. Chris, that you're familiar with is players of the game, so I'll toss it to you. Who stood out for you tonight? Either team, whatever you want, player of the game from your perspective? Yeah, I'm not going to pick a specific player. Uh, just something that I really liked with the Braves, and we saw it a lot last year, is even in losing efforts, down 3 nothing, they could have just given it in the ninth. First two guys go down easily, and they fight back and get bases loaded with two outs and have an opportunity to get some runs on the board and make it interesting. Unfortunately, they fall short with the ground out to short on the fielder's choice, but really have to like the fight of the Braves and hopefully carry that forward as they make the playoff run. So Chris going with that ninth inning comeback. Kyle, a moment or a player of the game that stood out to you? You know, I'm going to go with Evan Mendoza tonight, one of the Braves who had a hit tonight. He also induced a walk, but he also had a fantastic diving play over at second base, and we've seen Mendoza kind of play all over the infield this year. Nice to see him make some good defensive plays out there tonight. But Evan Mendoza, a guy that we we're a little bit worried about coming back from that wrist injury, and he really hasn't missed a beat. He's immediately hopped back onto the train, and he's been, you know, tonight was one of the few pieces of offense, and whenever the Braves get rolling, he's usually part of it as well. So got to give a tip of the cap to him tonight. Evan Mendoza and the comeback off the board. I'll go with Doug Norman who did a nice job tonight. Five and a third innings. He was tremendous and it's his second start and he looks like he's been starting forever. He was really good establishing the outside corner tonight and he's a tough luck loser as he allows only the one earned run. As Troy said, great work as well from Leland. That leaves you, Mr. Lynch. Who are you going to go with tonight? 3 nothing. Brewster defeats the Braves. Well, my player of the game is definitely Sean Leland. I already gave, up, gave you guys his stats, but I'm going to have to give my person of the game to Chris Jones, making his way out. Yeah. <laughs> well, he had to drive nine hours last night from Ohio, and he had his one of, of many, or not many, few off days that he has this summer, and he decides to come back out here to Bourne, and he did a fantastic job, one of the two voices for the Bourne Braves last year, and it was just good to see him again.
a well-deserved player of the game <laughs> shout out for the great Chris Jones before he wraps up his off day and heads back out on the road. We have an off day tomorrow, so we'll be sure to take Enjoy advantage that. of that. <laughs> we will, and then we'll be back on the road as well Friday in Orleans for Chris, Kyle, and Troy. I'm Michael. Final score tonight, 3-0. The Brewster Whitecaps defeat the Braves. We'll see you Friday at Eldridge Park.